Today I want to talk to you about using skip counting as a strategy to, to solve division questions. So our I can statement is I can use skip counting to solve division questions. And here's the question we're going to work on today. There are 15 pencils in a box. If there are five people in the classroom and they each get the same amount of pencils, how many will each person receive? So before we move on, I want you to think about what is the dividend, what is the divisor, and even estimate what you think the quotient might be. And just to remind you, the dividend is the total amount that we have of whatever it may be. So in this problem, our dividend would be what? Think about it. Our dividend would be 15. We have 15 total pencils to, to begin with. The divisor is going to be how many parts we break those in, break that 15 into. So our divisor in this equation would be 5. And therefore, we have our equation as 15 divided by 5 equals blank. So 15 is our div dividend. We're going to divide that by our divisor of 5, and we're going to figure out what our quotient is. But go back up to the top. I can use skip counting to solve division questions. So how can I use skip counting, the strategy of skip counting, to help me solve these questions? Well, anytime you use this strategy, you're going to skip count by the divisor. And you're going to start at zero, and you're going to skip count by whatever the divisor may be. And you're going to stop once you get to the dividend. Let me show you what I mean. So we're going to start and we're going, to get, we're going to start with 5. Then we're going to go up the same amount, again, because our, we're going to skip count by our divisor. So 5, the next group of 5 is 10, and we're not to 15 yet, so we need to continue moving up. One more group, which is 15. And therefore, we have, we've got, gotten to our dividend of 15. So, what we want to do now is we need to count how many groups there are. So we have one, two, three groups. So therefore, we have one, two, three. Therefore, 15 divided by 5 equals 3. And a way for you to check to make sure your quotient is correct is multiply your quotient by your divisor and see if you get to your dividend. Let me say that again. A way to check your answer after you use this strategy is take your quotient, multiply it by your divisor, and see if you get your dividend. If you don't, then you need to double check to make sure that you have done the problem correctly and that you've even multiplied correctly. So this is using the strategy of skip counting. And just, just as a reminder, you skip count by the divisor up till you get to the dividend. Then you see how many groups of that number you've created, and however many, num however many groups you've created is your quotient.